Hello and welcome, and today we'll be talking about field size and monitor units. Just a quick refresher on your manual calx formulas. And we're ready to look at our first calc. So we'll start off with a very basic 6MV 5 grade to D max at 1.5 centimeters with a field size of 10 by 10. And here's what it looks like in the planning system. So we've got 488 monitor units, which is extremely close to our manual calcs. There will be some slight differences between the monitor units because of contour differences. As you can see on the sagittal, it's a bit of a gradient going from the left side to the right side, which is obviously the patient's right side to their left side. Now, if the ISO center was deeper than Dmax, there would be a greater influence by changes in tissue densities. If we look at our transverse, we can see the ribs are slightly there, um, there's fat, there's air, there's muscle, and these all have different attenuations which would affect the beam further. And these will all change how the monitor units will be calculated by the system. Let's see what happens when we half the field size and we keep everything else the same. As you may have noticed, the monitor units have now risen. This is due because some of the primary beam has been collimated out. So to make up for this, it requires more monitor unit to be pushed through a smaller aperture to get an equivalent amount of dose as a larger aperture. We can further investigate this after the next slide. Now let's look at the difference between our 5x5 to a 20x20. Now, as just previously discussed, there is more primary beam not being blocked by the collimators. So that means there will be less monitor units needed to be pushed through to get the same result as our previous slide. This can be handy in ensuring that the monitor units match up with treatments you are actually delivering. Now let's have a more detailed look at how the scatter works with the collimation. So here I've done up an exaggerated example of a collimator and the scatter coming from there. The red arrows represent the scatter and the dashed white is the collimation jaws. We have a 10 by 10 here and we can see the scatter going through the portal hitting the skin. Now if we shrink the field size we can see that not all the scatter from the 10x10 10 is going through, which is represented by the red arrows hitting the collimation jaws up the top. Now, to make the same amount of dose at our ISO center, we must put more through the aperture because basically some of the beam's scatter is being culled, so to compensate for that, more is put through to get the same result. And this is why you have more monocy units for a smaller field size, and why less monocy units are needed for a larger field size. I hope this has been helpful in understanding this part of radiation therapy, and thank you for watching.